Um, so I think that once you're a graduate of this program, it kind of gives you a global um, overview of uh, processes in the world, um, looking at different countries, the way they interact with each other, um, diplomatic efforts, and of course, you know, we see what's happening in Eastern Europe right now. You really get to understand the deeper levels of what's reported on the news. Um, as you can tell from um, the crowd we are um, hosting today, people come to this program from all over the world. And um, it's really making the program a lot more interesting, a lot more diverse. Uh, we get to see different uh, viewpoints. And um, we're very uh, proud to say that um, most of the countries um, send their ambassadors over here and they're graduates of our program. Um, I'll give you a little overview of the academics and the way it's um, conducted. Um, we have um, not 12 mandatory, 12 uh, courses that um, at the end of the year you'll have to complete and um, that will give you the option to graduate. Um, the 12 courses are conducted from nine mandatory classes that everyone has to take. And we have uh, three seminars out of which um, will um, somebody, somebody has to go on. Petanos, can you, oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> um, so, um, so um, th these 12 courses will um, grant you the degree. It's an MA in security and diplomacy. And um, Tel Aviv University, as you probably know, is uh, top 100 in the world and also leading in a lot of areas, especially in uh, innovation. And um, the program is academically very strong. All our professors are coming from the field, meaning that they're not just um, professors who sit and research in universities, but they actually had the opportunity to either be diplomatics, uh, diplomats in their fields or uh, professionals coming from the professional world uh, of security, um, you know, high ranking uh, officers in the Israeli army, etc. This year is a very exciting year for us because we started a um, cooperation with Johns Hopkins University, uh, where we allow our students um, to study a year here as they would have without Johns Hopkins, but then go to Johns Hopkins uh, in Bologna and continue there for another year and receive two MA degrees. So those of you who are interested, um, I'll be very happy to answer questions later on. I just want you to know that it's a very new thing and uh, it's offered to all of you. Um, the dates of the program. So we start in October. Next year, we'll start October 13 and 14. Those will be orientation days. And the program lasts um, till the summer, middle of August. And... Um, in between, it's conducted of three semesters, um, the winter, the spring, and the summer semester. Summer semester is shorter, um, but the summer will become very hectic here because we have a whole bunch of other things we do during that semester. Um, we also offer, to those of you who prefer um, to graduate with a thesis um, track, we offer thesis, it's not mandatory. Um, you have to be accepted to thesis track um, to gain at least 88% um, GPA in order to be um, enrolled in the program. And um, um, we'll talk about that also later if, if uh, you need the thesis program is uh, extra money. It's uh, gonna cost $4,500 and you have a whole year after you um, finish um, the program with us to complete your thesis. You'll have an advisor, et cetera. I'll, I'll elaborate a little more then. 
Of course, uh, if you're accepted to the program, enrolled, confirmed, um, you'll um, have a student visa. Tel Aviv University will take care of that. We also um, cover your health insurance while you're here. So just good to know. And I wanted to talk about one more thing uh, before I go to a, a little presentation um, that I'll show you. Um, and it's about the internship. So a lot of our students come from different walks of lives. Some just finished their BA and uh, decide that they wanna um, pursue diplomacy and security. Some students come from the professional world, either as officers in different armies. Some uh, people are in the um, law um, area. Some, <coughs> excuse me. Some are um, interested in journalism and they want to kind of invest more um, in, that, in that field and in this part of the world. So they gain a really good understanding of what's going on here. So we have students who are coming from uh, different paths of life. Um, what we do during the semesters, um, especially starting the second semester, because we want to um, allow you to acclimate in the first one, we offer different, different um, uh, internships where you're gonna be able to kind of practice a little bit of what you learn, get an idea of which field you wanna really pursue. Um, some of the internships are a little shorter. And um, for example, I can um, tell you about the, um, we have in Tel, at Tel Aviv University um, a week that is called uh, Cyber Week. During Cyber Week, we have companies from all over the world coming here and presenting their new stuff, talking, and it's a very, very exciting. I think it's the biggest uh, convention in the world in the cyber in the in the secu cyber security arena. Students who are in our program get to intern in that in the preparation for that week um, during the week, so that opens the door to a lot of. Um, you know, making friends and, and getting yourselves out there, um, meeting important people um, in the fields. Uh, we have a security company that we're, uh, we're working with quite a long time. Uh, they're called Max Securities and they're experts in um, gathering information. Um, they do different things um, in the security field that I don't even know 100%, but our students, usually about five to 10 uh, students every year end up working for them. They train you for a whole week and you know you invest a few hours a week uh, going there during the, uh, the spring and the summer. And uh, that has been uh, very beneficial to a lot of us. Some, Students are working in uh, news organizations here in Israel, so that's an option as well. Um, so we're very open-minded. Uh, we're very open to help you um, if you have an idea of internships you want to pursue. Um, just one more general um, general um, um, description of Tel Aviv University. Uh, the campus is beautiful. I don't know if you had a chance to look at the different presentations. It's 90% uh, uh, of the year, we have a beautiful sun going on here and a beautiful beaches. Uh, we offer dorms here, right next to the campus. Uh, they're very luxurious, beautiful um, dorms. You have different options. You can share a room, you can have your own. Um, so it's a walking distance uh, from us. Carolina, I think that you're, you're, okay, if you can mute, thank you. Um, so um, that's about Tel Aviv. So you, you, you'll get to live in one of the more exciting cities um, in the world. Um, let me show you a little bit do you guys see the presentation? Let's see. 
Did you see that? No? Okay, let me share. Okay, so <clears throat> our um, program is very keen to uh, bring in professionals from the field, not just as professor, but also as guests. So we have an ambassador forum happening in the first semester. Um, here we have the Jordanian ambassador to Israel who came and spoke to our uh, students. Um, we had the Japanese this year, the French ambassador to Israel. We had the German ambassador coming. So we have, um, and even the Egyptian. So every, every year we invite um, different ambassadors who come and uh, share with, with us their experiences um, in the field. The head of the program is Professor Lazar Gatz. Um, I highly recommend that you pick up one of his books. He wrote quite many books um, in uh, the field of uh, um, war and strategy. Um, let me go to the next um, slide here. Um, in order for you guys to be able to have a little life and and also um, have your mornings open if you choose to learn uh, Hebrew or Arabic or just to intern. Uh, we built the um, schedules so you start at 1.15 in the afternoon. Some of the days where you will study straight till a quarter of seven. Some days, as you can see in the second uh, semester, you'll have some windows and um, depending on the courses that you will uh, select um, the seminars that you can choose from, um, your schedule will open. In the summer, uh, the summer is actually um, the shortest semester, but it's more intense. We meet twice a week. Um, and uh, we offer one mandatory class and uh, one more seminar for those of you who want to take it in the summer. Uh, another very exciting thing we do here at this program is at the end of it, we have a professor uh, uh, from Denmark who's coming here every year and uh, you will join uh, a week of simulation where you'll have a problem to solve. Each one of you will get a role and um, it's a whole week of preparation. And then um, at the end of it, the last two days are when everyone is going to present their um, ideas and uh, come up with some uh, solution to the problem presented by him. So that's very, um, always very um, interesting and um, you'll enjoy that a lot. It's almost a culmination of everything you study the whole year, you put it together. Um, I just uh, selected some um, pictures from this year. Let's see, why is this here? Yeah. So this is um, our class visiting Jerusalem. You can see the wall of the city. You see it here. Um, it's the old city. And um, those trips who, um, which we um, offer in the first semester are trips we do um, guided by uh, a lieutenant in the Israeli army. She's retired. Um, she will take us um, to all the borders. Um, we go on a bus and it's uh, usually a full day from seven in the morning to seven at night. And we explore the different uh, borders. So as you can see here, we'll go to Jerusalem and talk about the proximity of living uh, side by side uh, with uh, our population in the city. Um, let me show you a trip we, uh, this is um, in the north. Um, this is a, a rack, um, um, that is left uh, from the, the 1982 Lebanon war. It was the first Lebanon war. And uh, we, we 
visit there, we understand um, the geopolitics of the area. Um, and you actually get to see not just the theoretical stuff, but how things really look um, in, in a country like Israel, which is surrounded by um, hot borders from all over. Um, this year, last year we didn't have it, but the year before we did, um, just because of uh, Corona, the COVID uh, disease that is uh, not fun, um, but we visit um, a military and air force actually. Um, you can see that um, an Israeli pilot is with the students explaining a little bit of uh, about the war strategies and uh, things we do here in Israel. This is a picture from this year. Um, that's the border, uh, the Gaza Strip uh, border. We go all the way to the border and you'll get to see how um, the area where the gate opens and, you know, um, buses and, and, and trucks are um, exchanging uh, goods at the border. Um, and also, again, understand how close everything is and uh, what the issues are. This is a tour um, to Tel Aviv. Um, this is actually the um, area where the, the right by the ocean. And we started that, uh, the, the, the tour is guided by Professor Yashavit, who is gonna teach in the first semester. And uh, he really um, knows Tel Aviv inside and out and you'll gain um, a lot of um, um, understanding um, of different things about the, um, the, the conflict and maybe more uh, of how we actually reestablished um, the state of Israel. Um, this is um, the professor in the intelligence class. It's a seminar. Some of the students are here. You can see uh, the masks. <laughs> When we go to the north, uh, we also visit uh, a kibbutz. Kibbutz is a, a very unique way of uh, living. You learn more about it when you're here, but these are just fun pictures of uh, having a break and lunch there. This is, a um, <laughs> we feed you. Um, during the simulation week, uh, the last two days uh, where you present, everyone comes for, uh, formally dressed and uh, um, we always prepare breakfast and lunch for everyone and um, just wanted to give you a little insight into um, the way um, it looks. That's the simulation room itself. And lastly, this is the end of the year ceremony. As you will know, um, you will end the year in August, but truly have um, about two or three months uh, to submit all your work. Graduation, uh, formal graduation is usually in uh, January. So um, you'll finish um, your in-class um, instruction by middle of August. We'll have a ceremony because everyone is going away. So we, we have the ceremony at the end of the year. And um, your diplomas, uh, once you complete all your academic assignments, uh, will be sent to you via mail. So I'm going to open uh, for questions and be more than happy to answer them. Talk to enough. Anyone has a question? No one has a question? No? I mean, sorry, excuse me. Sure. Hi. Hello. Hi. Um, so I had a question about the requirements, the admission requirements about the GPA. So because I'm from Europe, 
And here, I mean, so basically because you say that there is, uh, the GPA has to be like 80 out of the 100 scale. So yeah. for example, we have like zero to 10, right? So that would be that my GPA would be, have, so, have to be like above eight. Right, so what you do is um, when you open a portal and you upload your documents, you'll upload your official, and it's very important because they are not gonna touch something that is not official. You'll upload your official transcript we send it to uh, the university's registrar. They will convert uh, the grades from Europe. That's what they're experts in doing, universities from all over the world. And we will let you know what it is equivalent to in our scale of 100, okay? So it's very important um, to upload your documents. I mean, if someone sees that their GPA is like not really high, I don't want you to, you know, spend the money applying and, and then you're not going to get in. I can tell you, though, that students who come from different uh, fields who are, you know, close to 80, maybe, you know, have 78 or 79 or 75 at times, but um, they show enthusiasm. I can send um, their application to a special committee. The reason we have high standard is because um, our program is not easy. We want everyone who comes here to end up graduating, to graduate with you know, good feeling. It's not impossible to do well, um, but you know, it requires devotion and, and ability to study, um, you know, sometimes under pressure, et cetera. So um, it's a master's degree, it's a, you know, a very good university um, so we kind of keep um, the GPA higher because we want everyone to, to be able to succeed okay anyone else is there anything you want me to talk more about um, any of the subjects, the internships. Um, I think there are some questions in the chat box. Okay, Sitara, <laughs> you owe me an essay. Um, I've submitted that already. Oh, actually. wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I so that last week. Um, okay. Wondering how many students are actually um, admitted, like, you know, usually to the course. And then um, I think some other people have some questions in the chat as well that I'm also interested in okay. to hear. <laughs> So, um, you know, we keep the program um, between 45 and 55 a year, um, not more than that. Uh, the seminars are smaller classes because we want the students to gain a lot out of the seminars. So they're usually at around 20. Um, I'll just tell you a little bit about, about the seminars we offer. So one of them is uh, negotiation skills. It's, um, it's good for politics, uh, but it's, good, it's a good tool for life as well. Um, we have a seminar about intelligence, um, talking about you know, different, different aspects of intelligence. We have uh, a seminar about Iran, one about China, which is such a big player. Um, we have a seminar, um, let me think, we, um, moral dilemmas, talking about terrorism and if there's any morality there. Um, let me see, what else? Um, we have a seminar um, that has to do with cyber and cyber security. So we'll learn about that. So there's a whole bunch of seminars. I'm hoping I'm not forgetting. Um, anything. Um, this year we offer uh, a seminar about uh, um, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and, and, um, and that's given by um, um, the Colonel Miri Eisen who's really loved by our students. So different options. Um, we have a seminar about America and um, it's um, the US and the relationship with Israel. So you'll get to choose out of this variety of seminars three.
Okay, thank you so much. Okay, anything else um, you wanted to ask? Hi, um, I just have a question about the English proficiency requirements. Um, I've opened my application on the portal and one of the requirements is obviously to submit some proof of English proficiency but English is my mother tongue um, so I just wanted to know when or how or what I must do about that with regards to the course application process. Wonderful Thank you. question, wonderful question. So if you come from um, an, an American university or any university in the world where you finished your BA um, in English, um, you'll be exempt from um, English testing, okay? If um, um, you guys are, let's say, if you grew up in the United States or in an English speaking country and finished high school, that's sufficient as well. You can just uh, present your uh, graduation certificate and you'll be exempt. All the rest will have to um, take um, English as a second language. Um, we have everything um, on the website is spelled out, but you'll have to take an English test and pass it. Um, so you'll be able to um, uh, be accepted to the program. They're very strict about it. Thank you. Sure. Anyone else? Yes. Um, GSL? Hi. No? I do have one more question. Okay. Um, actually, two questions. I wanted to know, first of all, for how long do the internships last? And second of all, could you talk more about the cooperation that you're doing with uh, the John Hopkins University? Sure. So uh, internships, uh, depending on what you take upon yourself, um, you can choose if you want to do it for a longer time or a shorter time. Uh, Max Security is because they invest so much in you. Um, you get a whole week of training, which is really priceless. It will open the door uh, for a lot of stuff. They um, require obligation of at least three months. So you'll be working with them. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but you're going to study from Monday to Thursday, so four days a week. Uh, Friday, Saturday, um, is the weekend here in Israel. Um, but we respect um, everyone coming from different countries and we keep this Sunday um, off as well. So you'll have um, some time to invest. And uh, I'll tell you the truth, there's a whole bunch of students that ended up uh, lending jobs with uh, Max Security, for example, after graduating. Um, they have offices in different areas in the world as well. So just mentioning um, it, but if you wish to do, let's say research with one of the professors here, it can last a month, it can last two months. Um, it's all up to you and what you're willing and able, uh, the time you are able to invest. Um, what are the requirements to get the internship with Max Securities? What are they looking um, for? So they will come and present uh, what they are expecting, but it's really up to them. We had uh, students from different backgrounds that were extremely good students and didn't get in. So I'm really not sure what, um, what is their screening um, like, but I can tell you that we have at least five to ten a year that are accepted to that uh, internship so I can tell you right away they do uh, some screening some not everyone is accepted so yeah um, languages sometimes depending on their um, um, their areas that um, they're looking for so sometimes they'll have you know they'll need Spanish people Spanish-speaking people um, to help them on a certain uh, thing. Um, English, of course, has to be very strong. Um, they have offices in India. That's uh, I know that. So um, some of our Indian students also end up there working for them. Okay, thank you very much. And, and can you now please tell me about the yeah the cooperation you're doing with John Hopkins Institute? Oh yes. 
So Johns Hopkins, um, you know, um, kind of merged with us a little bit. They ha have um, a campus in beautiful Bologna in Italy and um, their uh, social sciences um, are interested in doing this dual degree. If you go to Johns Hopkins to that campus and uh, you know, uh, study MA, it will take you two years. Um, we cooperated with them. So if you come here and you study a year with us, um, you'll gain your degree here, but then they will require you only one more year to gain another degree from them. So um, although it's really a wonderful cooperation and for you guys, it's a win-win situation because you gain you know, our um, perspective and uh, the wonderful program we offer here, and then you can go there and get the Johns Hopkins um, great education um, in Bologna and um, just um, be able to end up with two master's degrees. So if you want to have, if you want to do that double master degree, then you have to choose social sciences at Bologna. Right. Um, that's, I mean, they offer within, if you look at my email and you'll see underneath the link to uh, Bologna, you'll see that they offer a whole bunch of master's degrees, mainly in the social sciences. So okay. you have you know, international relations and things of that manner, um, and you can choose which one you want to pursue there. Uh, with us, it's only the security and diplomacy in my program. There's other okay. programs as well. Perfect, thank you. You're welcome. Excuse me, I was wondering if there are any other study abroad options available as well. Sorry, I couldn't understand. I couldn't hear you well. Oh, sorry, I was wondering if there are any other study abroad options available as well. No, no, because it's one year and, um, you know, the, the program is very intense. Um, we can't offer um, any other co collaboration, like a, a, a semester in a different campus. It has to be a whole year with us, and um, um, we don't offer. We don't have. Any, I mean, this um, uh, Johns Hopkins uh, uh, partnership is a very new thing. So um, maybe it will grow to becoming partnerships with other universities. Right now, that's all we do. Okay. Thank you so much. Sure. Anyone else? Hi. Hi. Um, Hi, I Esther. Good. <laughs> I have a question about the scholarships because um, I just saw on the website that it was the last moment to ask them was uh, on December. And I emailed them and they said it was too late. but. Is there any exceptions for this master's or something? Um, unfortunately, I'm not responsible for any of the scholarships. We used to have uh, the European scholarship uh, for European students um, in, covered by our program. We don't have it anymore because um, the defluctuation of the dollar versus the shekel, the Israeli shekel. Uh, made it impossible for us um, uh, to continue giving money. Um, but I think that the best thing to do is to just look at all the scholarships they're uh, offering and just go one by one. And uh, where are you from, Esther? I'm from France. F from where? France. France. Um, yeah, so you, because uh, like for South America, I know that they offer something, they have special scholarships there, but just look at your region on the scholarship website and, and uh, see if you can get um, under any category. Um, and you can look at other options as well. You know, sometimes the countries themselves uh, offer uh, scholarships. So yeah. Um, the money is always the not an easy part of the program. Thank you. 
You're welcome. Other questions? Let me look at the chat because I see that some. Um, oh, it's thesis track. I think that Dave wanted to know a little bit more about thesis track. So again, thesis track is offered. Um, sometimes our um, European students uh, are required to complete thesis before um, applying to PhDs. So um, that would be a good uh, option for them. It's mandatory. I mean, it's uh, optional. It's not mandatory. So you, you're going to be. Um, you, firstly, you have time to decide. You don't have to come to the program saying I want to or I don't want to take this track. You will um, have till about end of second semester to really decide whether you want it or not. Um, what we do while you take thesis track is we, um, depending on the subject you want to research, you will um, um, have a mentor who will, uh, who is an expert in the field, and they will guide you throughout the process. And uh, during the year that you have to write your thesis, it's about 100 pages long, um, you will submit it and have uh, the professor redirect you. Um, you know, open um, your eyes to um, mistakes or, you know, encourage you to go one way or another. Then you submit it. You don't have to defense. So um, really, once you're ready to submit your final um, thesis, it will be read by two professors um, and it will be um, graded. Um, so hopefully it's a little more clear now, right, Dave? Okay, let me see. Currently student in the UK, what is the entrance requirements? Do you need a high first or an upper second? Okay, so we, you have to have a, a bachelor's degree in order uh, or more in order to uh, be accepted to the program. So if you're on your last year of your BA, you're more than welcome to apply. You can send us a partial uh, transcript. Of course, it has to be official as well. Once uh, we evaluate it, we can accept you to the program um, in a condition that you uh, finish your BA prior to October and uh, finish it in you know, good standing. So that was to Karina, right? If hopefully it's clear. So we answered how many uh, students are admitted. So it's between 45 and 55. Um, so that's a good question. After graduation, what is uh, what are the possibilities of getting a job? And this is something I will not promise anyone, you know. It, really is depending on um, a lot of, as, as in every other subject in life. I think that you want to um, come to this program if you feel that this master's degree will uh, make you a better candidate to um, do different uh, um, jobs in the field you pursue. Of course, you have to love this area. You, um, you have to you know, be interested in, in um, the Middle East and because what we do here, although you learn about conflicts in the Middle East, you really get it as a, um, an exercise to understanding um, different conflicts in the world and different ways of uh, achieving peace. And, uh, um, you know, that Israel is very, very high in... Uh, in cyber uh, abilities. So uh, all these things make this program here at Tel Aviv uh, a very unique experience. And, uh, um, but again, we have students who ended up in, this, in the European Union. We have students who ended up in different positions um, um, in the United States, um, in, in diplomacy, you know, um, a lot of uh, journalism, um, students who wrote books. Uh, we have students who continue PhDs um, all over the world. So it's really um, 
some uh, good foundation if you are interested in this area to get this degree. So there's a question here. I've done my MBA in marketing. How this master is going to help me? Interesting. Um, not necessarily if you're more into the business world. Um, I think that if you are um, interested in understanding, for example, we have a class that is um, in economy, global economy, where you understand that um, in, in, in today's world, nothing that um, is manufactured anywhere, anywhere is really manufactured in one country. So um, you, you get the knowledge of how um, intertwined uh, business in the world is. So you get the basics there, you get the, the current understanding uh, of how um, um, things um, uh, evolve in the business world. But again, I, I don't want to push anyone. If, if you feel like business is your um, cup of tea, then stick with that. Um, did I answer? Uh, do most uh, students live in dorms? Um, yes, I would say so. Um, it's very easy um, to get from the dorms to downtown Tel Aviv, to the beach. It's all almost walking distance, a little, like a good half an hour walk, but uh, it's very close. Uh, transportation, public transportation here, the buses are really um, convenient and uh, also, we, you get a pass as a student here, so it's cheaper. Um, so it's not a must, but the dorms are beautiful. Look at the videos that they posted on the website. Okay, Margarita, in case you admit it, but still in the course of your bachelor's. So I think I answered that, Margarita, right? Um, you can submit um, your partial transcript. Diploma is not always required because I know that a lot of times people do not get their diploma um, right after they graduate. Um, if you do, you will submit it. Um, there's a question here. What about students who have no diplomacy and security education background? That's not a problem. Uh, what we do in this program, we actually give you all the foundations um, that you need to know in order to be successful um, in one class or another. So you don't have to have a background, um, specific background um, in any of it. You know, those who have the background, they will probably find it a little bit easier, um, uh, but you will gain from the, the professors are very um, available um, to help, to sit with you, um, all of us here at the office um, are very, very uh, caring and uh, we will hold your hand if you need it, okay? I'm an Italian lawyer, um, 35 years old. I have a master's degree in law and I passed the bar exam in Milan. In your mind, after this master, will I have some opportunities to work in security diplomacy field, or am I too old? Oh, no. <laughs> um, we have students um, from all ages, um, especially with the, we have the same program that we offer for the international students. We also offer to our own Israelis. Um, it's an executive program. There, the age group is a lot, um, older and more professionals, but every year we, we have um, lawyers joining our uh, program and they take it to different um, areas. You know, sometimes, um, you know, when you gain the international view of things, you can, you know, take your law and maybe specialize a little bit more um, to that direction. Um, but we do have this year, I think a couple of students that are um, over 35. A lot of the students are younger than that. Okay. 
so if no one has um, questions, unless you do, we have time. Satisfied? All right, so those of you who are interested, Firstly, I'm here, so you can always uh, send me an email and I will be more than happy to either have a one-on-one -on, -one on you, we can do another Zoom one-on-one, -on -one, or um, just send me um, an email and I'll be happy to answer any, any questions that come up in the future. Um, but if you're interested, if it's um, something you feel, uh, well, it's, it's gonna be a life-changing experience regardless. Um, because uh, spending a year here, I mean, students cry when they leave. It's such a good uh, experience for all. Um, but and they make friends for life from all over the world. Um, but if you do, if you are interested, please open up your portal, start uploading documents, and uh, we will screen them and send them for evaluation and try to give you answers as soon as we can. Okay. Um, I actually do have another question, if you don't Sure. Um, yeah, I was wondering when will we actually hear back about whether we have been accepted or not? Like I said, after the deadline has expired, so like after um, the end of March, or when can we expect to hear back? So, no, um, we've already accepted uh, students um, to the program, those who already uh, submitted all their paperwork. I um, go over the files all the time. Uh, when students apply um, and, and upload all their uh, documents and everything is in order, um, I sit with the head of the program and he makes a decision. Um, so, um, yeah, you will hear shortly because I think we were missing um, just one of your documents. So you, you should be um, able to hear shortly. Okay, perfect. thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, guys, more questions? Looking forward, thanks all for joining and um, hope to see you here. Bye. Bye, thank you. You're thank welcome. You. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye, thank you. Bye, bye. Thank you. Bye, bye.